Hi everyone, welcome back to the Steal Your Apps channel. I am Ruth and today we are talking about Wix COO or in other words, conversion rate optimization. Let's start. In this video, we're going to talk specifically about CRO for Wix e-commerce store. That means that we're not going to focus on how to optimize your conversion rate for your Wix leads generating website or any other type of website. We're focusing specifically on e-commerce because e-commerce does have its own unique requirements and properties that you need to know about. One other thing that I'm not going to focus on is having good visual images, a good color scheme in your website, having correctly grammar text. We're not going to talk about any of these things. I hope they are obvious. So with that said, let's jump in and talk about the five tips that I have for you to actually improve your conversion rate optimization in your Wix store. The first thing you need to ask yourself is what page am I focusing on? The answer is the product page. A lot of people, when they first start out, focus on optimizing the homepage to a T. They create a beautiful homepage and then they kind of forget about the product page. And that is a mistake because when you advertise your website, you are most likely going to advertise specific products. You're going to send customers into the product page and not into the homepage. This means that the product page is basically a landing page. This is the first page that your customers see when they land on your website. Because of that, you have to make sure this page Page is well optimized and actually converts. So what does that mean? You need to have, like we said, beautiful high resolution images of your product, have a description that fits as many keywords that are relevant to your product as possible, but also gives all the information that your customer wants to see and add the add to cart button above the fold. Now in Wix, it's a little difficult because you can actually change your theme in a way that the add to cart button would be above the fold on desktop, but it's not currently available on mobile. Hopefully they're gonna change it soon, but it's actually pretty easy to do. You just need to make sure you choose a layout that puts the add to cart button above the fold. Take into account a product page with a lot of text. Make sure the button is not below the text so it isn't pushed down. Don't make your customers scroll to reach the add to cart button, the most important call to action on the page. Ideally, you would also want the add to cart button to directly take your customers to the cart and not just add a product and then they have to make another click to get to the cart. Try to get them to the cart as fast as possible, get them to the next step in the funnel. The second tactic is to add reviews and this is also relevant to the product page, but not only that. You need to have reviews in your e-commerce store. This is a must have. We all know about user generated content. We all know about social proof reviews. They are just the magic behind social proof. They are what you have to have for potential customers to see that you actually have true customers who have true feelings and thoughts about your products. Now, you don't want all of your reviews to be five stars. I mean, if everyone left five star reviews, amazing, that's great. But if you have some lower reviews, just make sure that you actually answer them so that people can see that you take reviews seriously, that you answer your customers and make sure that people can see that you actually care about their experience. A good app I would recommend if you're looking to install a reviews app on Wix would be Editorify. Editorify is an app that allows you to not only collect reviews from your customers with images, which is very important because customers want to see what the product looks like on real people. They also allow you to actually import reviews from websites like AliExpress. If you have a dropshipping store and your products are hosted on AliExpress, you can actually take real reviews of real people who are using this product and import them into your website in a few simple clicks to allow you to show these reviews from day one. I would never recommend that you actually forge reviews, but if you can import real reviews on real products that you're selling, this is a different story. This is something that can help you improve your user-generated content and social proof. You would show your reviews on the product page, but also show the star ratings on collection pages so that customers can see what is the rating for each product they're interested in. The third tactic is to offer free shipping. Unexpected shipping costs are actually one of the major reasons that people abandoned their cart. They get to the checkout and they find out that they have to pay extra for shipping and they just don't want to do that. So if you can offer free shipping, if you do have some shipping costs, then just roll them 
into the product so that you can offer free shipping. That way customers don't feel like they are surprised by new rates that they didn't expect when they reach checkout. The good thing about Wix is that they show the shipping rates on the cart and this is great. This helps minimize checkout abandonment because customers can actually see their shipping options right there on the cart alongside the products before they move on to the checkout. Ideally, you would offer free shipping as well as some form of insured shipping. This is a really nice way to upsell your customers and actually get a little bit more out of each order. So you would offer the regular free shipping and also offer them the option to purchase insured shipping, meaning you will ensure that their package get to them. This is something you would actually do either way, but it's another tactic, first of all, for them to really appreciate the free shipping and second, for them to add another five or three dollars to ensure their shipping. You get an upsell, they get a quiet mind that their packages are being insured. The fourth tactic is, of course, customer support. What could be more important than customer support? If you want people to trust you, you need to be available for any question that they have, for any comments that they might have. You need to be available to help them while they're shopping on your website. While I do recommend that you buy a phone number and show it on your website, that you have a business email and show that on your website, a contact us page, this is not enough. You need to be available to your customers with a single click. And the best way to do that is with a live chat on the website. How am I supposed to concentrate with this look? <laughs> Shushi! How am I supposed to concentrate with this looking at me? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, you're distracting me, Thierry, please. <laughs> <laughs> there are different apps that you can use to add live chat to your website but actually in Wix they make it super easy you can use the Wix live chat widget on your website just enable it and you will be available for your customers in a few clicks just make sure that you're either available or get back to them in 24 hours or less the more available you are, the higher chance you have of actually converting this customer. If you have a concern, you want to be able to actually answer this concern as well and make sure that they feel safe buying from you. So live chat is a must. And the last tactic is to actually recover abandoned checkouts. Don't assume that people getting into your website are going to buy straight away. Most of the times people get to your website, they think about it, they browse around, maybe they even create a cart and then they leave. They want to think about it. And the thing that happens in most cases is that they forget about you after a few hours. There are so many e-commerce websites out there probably in your niche. What makes you different? Why would they remember you? It's not enough to work on the on-site things. You need to make sure that after they leave, they actually get a reminder about the products that they left in the cart, about why they should continue shopping with you. You want to send them a reminder and get them back to your site to complete the purchase. Make sure they don't forget about you. Now Wix has this option automatically available with Wix emails and this is one road that you can go in. But if you want to actually send out a bed and check out reminders not only via emails but also via SMS and push then you should install Carti. This is an app that allows you to collect subscribers from the checkout whatever it is via SMS push or email and send out reminders to them after they left your website. And the reminders are built in a way that they are actually getting a continuously growing discount and you can enable it in one click automatically. Or you can customize it as you need and as you want. But the important thing is that you don't forget about your customers after they leave. Because if you do, then they will forget about you and they're not going to come back and buy again. Abandoned checkouts is one of the most important flows that you have when it comes to automation in e-commerce. So these are my five tips. Of course, this is not an end-all, be-all video about CRO for Wix e-commerce. There are so many more things to talk about. If you're interested in hearing more, let us know in the comments below. And if you have a tip that you think is important that I missed out on also let us know in the comments below if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe like this video if you enjoyed it and hit the bell notifications button so you never miss another video from us and I will see you in the next video have a great day